in on you. What the heck? Did someone get isekai? Whoa, yo. <laughs> Timmy. Gochi goi. <laughs> A I fuck. I was right. <laughs> Order that makes breathing difficult. Nakopo. This scent. Ooh. I I can. <laughs> Guys, welcome to the sun shines over us. Something that UK weather could absolutely never. It's a UK joke, you won't get it. But guys, uh, this is a sponsored stream and a sponsored video. So thank you so much. And uh, just a quick info on what the sun, shine, uh, the sun Shines Over Us is. An award-winning visual novel that dives into the lives and minds of high school students. Now, while the game focuses on the stories of victims of bullying, The Sun Shines Over Us also explores the social, mental, and emotional issues facing modern teenagers. So, trigger warning. I don't know if this is gonna be like a Doki Doki Literature Club. I don't know if we're gonna see anything uh, that might give us like really, really bad memories. But just to put it out there, guys, like if you are going through something hard right now then uh just a word of caution uh this might uh trigger something in you so without further ado let's freaking go let's go chapter one of 15. Mm. the sky is clear with the bright rays of the sun visible from inside dad's car sana all bright rays the sound of his favorite radio station playing old tunes adds to the atmosphere that today will be fine. Yes, everything is going to be fine. Until it wasn't. Ooh, ooh, everything's going to be fine, Mentari. Yeah, keep telling yourself that. Is there a son Otolthan? What is it, sweetie? Dad's voice breaks me out of my daydreaming internal monologue. I immediately turn my head from looking outside the window to dad driving the car. I was like, oh, so we're, we're a glasses girl, MC. Oh, finally. Uh, no, it, it's nothing, dad. No, don't worry, sweetheart. This is a good school. Uh, the Regina Foundation is renowned for taking good care of its students. I've already spoken to the principal and teachers about... Um, yeah, I get it. I'm sorry to make you worry, Dad. No need, no need to apologize. That's how a father is. Uh, that's exactly why I'm dropping you off on your first day. Oh, did I skip something? Sorry. Um, but still, I am kind of worried. You don't need to worry, Dad. I, I can do it. Oh, she has a pretty nice support. Parent, good stuff. Dad smiles at me. Wrinkles around his eyes become even clearer as he smiles. Dad's getting older. Shouldn't bother him anymore. I'm always a burden to everyone. Ooh, no. I shouldn't be like this. You know what? If I was the dad, if I was a dad, I wouldn't want my daughter to apologize to me. Again, this is what a father used to do it. It, it it's gonna hurt me so much if i hear <laughs> that my my daughter thinks she's a she's like a you know a, a bother to me so i don't want to even hear this but if i was a teenager which i never never relate to then i might go for this I apologize to dad because you know i don't know man oh, i'm sorry dad but i gotta i gotta do this too yeah I gotta immerse myself Put myself into a Magani MC girl character. Oh, Jesus, what the? Bro, what in anyone? What? I did not expect a freaking jump scare after apologizing. What the heck? Did someone get isekai? Whoa, yo! A motorbike suddenly sped up to overtake dad's car and brought our car to a screeching halt. Tangan na mga kamote talaga, no? Kahit saan, kahit sa Indonesia, may kamote. Skupo. Jesus. Holy crap. Truck kun could absolutely never. Anyways. <laughs> what in the world? What's up with that motorbike? 
kid's still wearing his uniform, too. Oh, no. I noticed something about the rider as he fades away. A male teenager with a familiar uniform flew by fast and dangerously. That uniform... Um, isn't that my new school's uniform? I didn't pay attention to the uniform. If that's the case, though, you don't want to hang out with the troublemakers like that, sweetie. Oh, no! She's in love with the gangster. I can see that happening. I, I stayed quiet. I'm not even sure if I'll be able to get along with anyone in this new school. Let alone someone like that. Dika Shore! Girl, Dika Shore. Sometimes it's like the the sweet and quiet type who goes for like the wild and rough ones. If you know what I mean. Well, I'm just gonna give him my Arthur Morgan voice. In that case, I'll leave Mintari in your care. <sighs> Ooh, damn teacher. All right, let's go, Miss Lena. Oh, Gusto. Okay, I kind of like this game now. <sighs> Don't worry, though I'm not her homeroom teacher. I'll still keep an eye on Mintari. Thank you, Miss Lena. Keep an eye on is 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 was Miss Lena in the market? Is Dad a single dad? Maybe we can. Oh, I don't know. It feels like I'm a weird creature whose behavior needs to be watched. Am I that weird? Maybe I am. I mean, I am a. a I am a dot dot dot. Mentari. Don't daydream. Uh, yes, Miss Ma'am. Yes, Mommy. I mean, yes, Miss Lena. I, I, I got startled after Miss Lena called my name. This is not our first meeting, so I should have been used to her bald appearance. But seems I'm not... Hmm. Uh, by the way, uh, where is... Where's Kirana? Kirana, my old friend from elementary school. My anxiety starts to fade away since I know Kirana will be by my side at this new school. Well, I asked Mr. Leo to bring Kirana. Oh damn, so this is Kirana! Mentari! Sorry for my neighbors, oh my god. That was too loud. Holy shit, that echoed through the whole neighborhood. I'm so sorry, neighbors. Anyways, Kirana arrives and hugs me tightly from behind. She fully embraces me with care. Her cheery face reassures me that everything is going to be okay. Maybe. And teacher, he's just teacher. <laughs> no, is this the new student? I'm just gonna give him like the zestiest, fruitiest voice. <laughs> I look down and hide my face behind my hair. <laughs> just relax. You can call me Leo. I don't like the formalities of being called Mr. Alright. Uh, I can see why, <laughs> teacher. Mm, okay, um, yeah, yeah, nod silently. We are the quiet from the room. I nodded at Lee. Oh, this is Leo! Okay. Hmm. Um, Mentari is still adapting to her new environment, Leo. She is quite shy. <laughs> Very well, then. And the sound effects is too freaking loud. Aray! Agai! Flag ceremony is about to begin. Ooh the good old days. All students, please gather at the yard. The flag ceremony is about to begin. Um, uh, I shall excuse myself then. Mentari? Uh, yes, Dad? If you need anything, just call me or Miss Lena. I nodded at Dad. Well then, Miss Lena, I, I will leave Mentari in your care. Excuse me. Alright. Dad then leaves me in the teacher's room. Kirana, who had been standing quietly, embraces me, then pulls me outside. I don't know what to what voice to give Kirana, to be honest. Okay, let's go to the yard. Let's uh, the dot dot dot. I'm quiet, Megani girl. Kirana leads me to the yard filled with the Regina High students. Man, Indonesian schools kind of look like Filipino schools. Not gonna lie. We are close cousins. The yard isn't too big, as its purpose is only for the flag ceremony. The number of students isn't a lot either. If I remember correctly, each group only has... Whoa, less than 30? Less than 20? Let's make it 20. I don't want too many classmates. Um, Stop daydreaming, Mentari. Uh, I was not so... <laughs> Our class lined up in that area? 
Carrata points at the line in the corner. My class is 11A. Classes that come first alphabetically are usually placed in the corner. Huh. In the... In the corner. Oh no, she doesn't like corners. <laughs> Popular girl, what the fuck? Next to the front then. Uh, next to the... Oh, what, what, what's going on? Why is it... That's right, let's not get too... What, what, what's going on? Okay, bitches. Bitches are talking about me. Sorry. Sorry! But like autoplay. Whoa, what the heck? I couldn't even read those. <laughs> Mentari? Karana looks at me with concern. <laughs> Are you okay? Is it too hot for you here? Uh, look around. Uh, we lined up at the very back, the most shaded place. Uh, no, it's not too hot. I'm sorry. Kiran is about to say something else, but then we heard the microphone turn on and begin ringing. Mic test, testing, chat test, testing, testing. And I. Oh, sound fix, man. Blah, blah. Okay, there you go. I turn around to the source of the sound. On a stage in front of the yard, the student stands tall. And this is Seitokai. Boop! Damn, that's a high school student? No way, bro. He looks at least 24 <laughs> with that body. My fellow schoolmates, welcome back to Regina Foundation High School to continue your study for the second semester in the year 2019 to 2020. Wow, damn, pre-COVID? Whoa, amazing. I hope we will not lose our spirit to study in the second semester of this year. Second semester? Oh, she's going in late today. Damn. Okay. Uh, let's miss Lena. Oh, yeah, let's go, Miss Lena. I am Aditya Fatura... Faturama. I cannot pronounce that properly. Faturama, the student council president for this year. I look around the yard. Miss Lena and Leo seems busy preparing to start the ceremony. A couple of students who are appointed as the ceremonial officers run toward their designated places. Seems like the student council president is trying to buy some time. Not a hold all. Hmm. Well, that's all from me. I hope it will be beneficial for all students. In a moment, the flag ceremony will begin. Let's go. The wind blew breezily during the ceremony. Kirana, who stands in front of me, looks focused following the ceremony. In the middle of the ceremony, Miss Lena walks towards the stand and stops in front of the microphone. Honorable teachers and staff, and all of my beloved students, welcome to a new study year. Ah, ceremonial mandate. I used to make a little game of guessing the topic of the mandate with myself. As the topic is usually similar, what could it be for this week? Uh, 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 a healthy interpersonal relationship. Something, maybe. Huh. Regarding your relationships with fellow students, please keep yourselves from indulging in promiscuous behavior. Sure, with fellow students? Yeah, yeah, Miss Lena. I want with teachers, though. Hmm. Hmm. See, I was right. As usual, the topic for a ceremony mandate won't stray away from. Of course, first day of school, there's always gonna be that incident. That all, we all had that. Nah, they all had that incident in high school. Nah, nah, so the nah. Okay, let's see what happened. Two rows to my right, a girl fainted and was surrounded by, by other girls. Yeah, that always happens. Someone always faints on the first day of school. Damn. Eat your breakfast, girls and boys. Sasha fainted! Medic! What is that? Oh, ooh, we got a short hair, Chinita. Let's go. Eh. The Jobodeska. The girls panic and lifted Sasha's head off the ground. Even from my position, I can see Sasha's pale face and frail body, making her look sick. Um, you know what? As the quiet, timid girl, I'll be, I'll stay and wait for help for now. I don't want to draw too much attention to me. My hands are sweating from the tension. It's impossible for me to help Sasha. 
It's too, it's too, too, uh, too soon for character development for Mentari, guys. Come on. After waiting for a pretty long time, the medic uh, then came running towards Sasha and lifted her out with a stretcher. I was frozen, watching the heroic scene while standing still in the line. Wow, they got stretchers in this school? Dude, Philippine high schools could never. Suddenly, I have difficulty breathing. Oh no, anxiety attack. Oh no, Min Min Mentari? What's wrong? Kirana embraces me while panicking. The girls around me also turned their heads and looked at me with worry. Oh no. Oh no, they're looking at me. All of them are looking at me. Poor Mentari. Oh no, their gazes are painful. Felt like knives stabbing me all over from head to toe. Gazes weighted with prejudice. I'm sure everyone is wondering who I am and why I'm this frail. Oh, Mentari's crazy. Don't get too close to her. It'll catch her disease. I'm just, just panicking. Oh, why do I get weak when I panic? My legs become wobbly and my hands get sweatier. Kirana's voice gets further distant. I don't know what else to do. Why am I cursed with this illness? Miss Jasmine, Mentari, remember. Oh, is this our? Is this our shrink? Is this our therapist? If you panic, hold your breath for three seconds. I take a deep breath. One, two, three. Hold your breath for three seconds. I hold my breath. One, two, three. Mentari? Can you hear me? Then exhale through your mouth. <sighs> Slowly, I exhale through my mouth. <gasps> Mentari! Oh my god! The flag ceremony has ended. Kirana looks at me with concern. A female student in front of her also tries to peek at me. I shake my head softly at Kirana. I have to be strong. I I'm, I'm, I'm alright. Are you sure? You look pale. Yes, uh, I'm alright. I think we should go to class. Everyone's left. Nah, 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 nah. Kirana? Oh, Kirana. Y yeah, sure, let's go. Damn. Good job. Good job, Mentari. You kept it in there. You held on. Is that the BGM? I'm not sure, bro. There you go. Holy man. The music the sound effects bro jesus sound effects are gonna give me a panic attack suit <laughs> oh school girl wow you're the new girl aren't you what's your name oh, pleased to meet you my name is where did you come where did you come from and a couple of students keep asking me questions hey at least they're being friendly but yeah not something you want to experience on your first day too one by one they got closer to me and eventually i'm surrounded by them all of these new faces that I never saw before and all of them looking at me enthusiastically. Like I'm some kind of zoo animal. Ugh. Yuck. Yuck. I, 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 uh, uh. When I tried to speak, everyone became quiet. A few of them look at me with curiosity. Um, where did you come from? From Nation Star of Hope High School? No. Oh. Wow, isn't that school also located in Jakarta? Uh, why did you transfer out? Uh, yeah. If they knew what happened at the previous school, my efforts would have failed. Oh, she's starting anew. Oh no. Oh no. No one will befriend me. Even Kirana would still steer clear of me. Everyone would. Everyone who tried to defend me will eventually jade. I'm always alone. I'm always alone. Are you a dropout? Oh man, whoa, girl, schoolgirl, A. Hey. Or could it make the grades over there? Oh no, no, no need to worry about that with us. Lies. No need to be shy. No one's going to talk up, talk bad about you. Everyone lies. Ooh, I'm pretty sure some of these. Uh, Classmates mean act mean well, like they authentically mean well. But you know, coming from someone who's 
had troubles in the past. You will get trust issues, I'm pretty sure. Oof. They also said the same thing back then. M Mentari? Oh, her name is Mentari. Um, is she your friend, Karana? Why didn't you say anything, Mentari? Or she can't speak? Hey, don't say that. Yes, uh, I cannot speak. She's gonna bochi the rock this. Oh no. I never speak. If I speak, then I will. Surely they will. Mentari! Oh, you dare talk back to me, huh? I fell down in front of the school lockers. I wish there was a way to not skip the things that the the, the bullies are saying. The logo of Nation Star of Hope in the locker covered by my waist-length hair. A couple of female students surrounded and quartered me until I couldn't move at all. I know all of them. You never got accepted in 10C class, you know. Just because your dad throws money at the school doesn't mean anything. But I, I don't... Oh, shut up! A female student punches a locker beside me. My body is shaking, and I'm starting to sweat due to fear. Damn, damn, that hurts. What did she expect? She punched a locker. What a dumbass. Another student tries to peek in to see what's happening. My eyes catch his. Ah, oh, the, the boy I talked to before. Apparently, he's the most popular boy in school. I shouldn't have grouped up with him for the class assignment. Oh, those type of bitches, huh? Jealous freaking cats. I shouldn't have. Mentari! Oh, don't try to pick on people. Wait, I, I never... Mentari! What kind of girl can you be? You're just playing with a teacher. What the heck is going on? Enough. This is enough. I never wanted... I never wanted any of this. Oh, someone's calling me from the, the... From beyond. Okay, there you go. Kirana. Damn, how many times are you gonna say Mentari today, Kirana? I take a quick breath. I felt like I was falling down from an endless ravine. Kirana holds my shoulders and looks at me with panic in her eyes. Standing next to Kirana, a female student looks concerned and holds a water bottle. I remember her. She's the one who stood in front of Kirana during their ceremony. Oh, damn! Let's go! We gotta... Well, I don't know. Like, she can't be studying. She... Class press! Class press material right there. Let's go! Drink up, Metari. I grab the bottle with my shaky hands. Slowly. There you go. I drink the water and feel relief in my chest. Thank you. You're welcome. How do you feel now? Uh, there's no point in telling them. No one would understand. Oh, anyway, I haven't introduced myself. I am Ayu. Oh, it's a Japanese-sounding name. Or an Indonesian. Okay, Ayu. Ayu Chuan? Oh, she... I told you. I told y'all. She she had the design of the class president. I freaking knew it. Let's go. Let's go, Ayu. Um, let's at least introduce ourselves. Come on. Some decent courtesy here. My name is Mintari. Nice to meet you. I hope you will feel welcome in this school, Mintari. If you have any problems, you can count on me. Wow, dude. Our class president back in high school could absolutely never. Let's go. Or me. You could also count on me. I'm just going to give her that voice and accent. Of course, you can also count on Kirana as well. All right, everyone, come inside. Oh, Leo. And, oh, it's Leo. Okay. Leo smiles wide when he catches my eyes. Ew. Okay. <laughs> no, not. Sorry. My bad. I had a wrong impression there. Okay. Uh, that's right. We have a new student. Has everyone meet her yet? Come on, Mentari. Come up here. The whole class looks at me while I stand and walk to the front of the class. Please introduce yourself. Uh, uh, calmly, calmly. Damn, do not break character right now, Mintari. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be laughing. She's having a hard time. I just think it's cute. Oh no. Um, come on, Mintari. You have to fight your shyness. You can't just say that, Leo. Mintari? You, you can't.
can't even do that. Ah, oh, no, you can't say that. Come on, bro. What a freaking condescending. Ugh. See, 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 that's stuck with her. See, what the heck, teacher? What the heck, Leo? What the heck is wrong with her? How many times are you going to freaking do this? Poor Mentari. She's, she can't catch a break here. Panic attacks every freaking three minutes. Bring Miss Lena. I know, right? Yeah, that's true. I, I, I can do this. Oh, you're so lame, Mentari. Give me one more chance. Please. Tari? Oh, you can't even introduce yourself? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm indeed lame. Tari! What exactly can you do? I don't even know what I can do. Probably will burden people. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Leo? I'm sorry, Leo. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, class press. Mmm. Are you Chen? Are you good? Thanks. Oh, seems like Mentari is still adapting. I don't think you should force her, Leo. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Don't even give him the teacher status. Just Leo. L. Big L for Leo. L-E-O. I know, right? I mean, we already did this informally before you came. Well, very well then. Mentari, you may go back to your seat. Mm -hmm. I walk back to my seat next to Kirana. I, f I failed again. I can't even introduce myself. Dad and Kirana must be so disappointed in me. How you even stood up for me? Aw, uh, she's such a nice girl, freaking Ayu. Let's go. I don't dare to look at anyone. Too much of a disappointment to be worthy of any task. Suddenly, I felt a warm feeling on my back. I turned to Kirana. Kirana is caressing my back. Ah, uh, so nice to have a support person like Kirana. Good stuff, good stuff. Well, it's okay, Mentari. Nice. It's all good. It's all good. You'll, you'll do better. You'll do better. We'll improve. Well, that's all for today's lesson. Have a good lunch. See you again tomorrow. Now get the heck out of my face, Leo. Get out of, out of here. Oh, hey, that's the break time bell. Did you bring your lunch? I shake my head softly at Karana. This morning, I was too busy preparing myself mentally, let alone preparing my lunch. Let's go to the cafeteria, okay? Alex! Donny! Donny! Querido! Alien! A teacher's shout is heard from outside the classroom, followed by the sound of running feet. The whole class ran out to see what is happening. Kirana grabs me so I can take a look too. Our class is on the second floor, so we can see the yard and other classes from the balcony in front of our class. Two students were running around the yard after a teacher. Ooh. I can't see their faces from where I stand, but I think I saw one of them before. It's probably that guy in the motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Here comes the intro of the delinquents. Uh, what's up? He was the one who sped up on the road and almost hit Dad's car this morning. God damn, he almost easy guy does. Uh, it's nothing. Surprised to see the teacher and students behave like cat and mouse. And you didn't have any of this in your old school, huh? Oh, I shook my head. Oh, the usual one, Alex and Donnie. A female student sighed and heads back to class. The crowd begins to disperse after they were satisfied to see the teacher finally manage to stop the two students named Alex and Donnie. Why are they not expelled yet? What is wrong with these guys? What is wrong with this school? Their parents must be super rich to keep them there. After everyone goes away, Ayu looks deep in thought as she watches over Alex and Donnie being scolded by their disappointed teacher. Huh? Well, Alex and Donnie are in our year. They always get in trouble with the teachers. Um, does it always end in a chase like that? Nah, not every day, but they do get scalded a lot. They never get a warning letter or even get- I know, right? Mitari asking the real questions here. What that? What's going on? Nope. Alex actually ranks second in our year. Oh, so now you can get away with anything as long as you're smart. What the? What the? Okay, you know what? Fair. Fair. You know what? If I can... Fair. Sure. 
and Donna. Donnie is a bona fide mathlete. A literal Olympia champion. Okay, they're delinquents. They probably look good and is smart. What the heck? That's, life is so unfair. Damn, this world needs balancing, man. You can't, you can't have everything. You can't have that much freedom. Come on. Come on. Teachers can't figure out why they're so troublesome and yet so bright. <sighs> Sada all. Maybe I'm just a hater because I wish I was that kind. Of, I was. I had those attributes. <laughs> Both of them. I, mean, I guess even smart people can be troublemakers, huh? Oh, I'm not even. So are we going to the cafeteria or what? Um, just, just wait up. Just wait up. Hold on. I need more info. Wait. I. What's wrong? Uh, what? Rumbles. Stomach rumbles before I can even answer Karanda's question. <laughs> Ha! Your stomach answered for ya. Let's go. Iko ramen ikoka. Kirana then walked with me to the cafeteria. Oh god, my nose is killing me by the way. Ugh, it's getting so bad. Okay. During lunchtime, the cafeteria is packed with Regina High students. The cafeteria is pretty wide, but still looks filled with students who wander around to order their meals from the stalls and chit-chat while they eat. I recommend the bakso. Bakso! They are so delicious. Uh, you want some? I nod softly as I look around. I'm so hungry. I don't even... I don't care what to eat. Three bowls of bakso, please. What the heck is bakso? I'm gonna search it right now. Bakso! That sounds delicious, bro. It's, uh, that sounds like a freaking street food. Oh, damn! It's like... It's like... I don't know. <laughs> it's like... I don't know, man. An Indonesian meatball uh, noodle soup. So like, put lomi, lomi, and then meatballs on it. Damn, bakso, bro. That looks freaking nice. Oh, man. Makes me hungry. Good, good. Th th three bakso? Hmm? Well, one for you and two for me. Whoa. Oh, she's not, she's not talking about the meatballs. She's talking about the servings. Damn. Okay. Let's wait over there. Okay, me and Karana sat down near the back stall. Next to our table, a clique of pretty girls are chatting. Oh, those earrings look so cute, putri. <laughs> yeah, put. <laughs> Goddamn. No, sorry, I can't. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to the Indonesians out there. Putri is probably like the prettiest name out there or probably a common name. But God, I just can't imagine a pretty girl with the name Putri. I don't know. It, 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 it will sound so weird in Filipino. I, I, I swear. It's, I swear. <laughs> Damn. I can't imagine a pretty girl having the name. I, I can't imagine calling a pretty girl Putri. Putri in a putri. Okay. <laughs> Shoot. Yeah, put. Where did you get them? Ah, she cute. She cute. Uh, they're not my type, though. Oh, I got them at the Gedung Indonesia Mall. <laughs> they're so cute, aren't they? The girl they called, put called Putri showed off her earrings to the other girls. Let's see if she's a bitch. They're the same kind of earrings worn by Anai Mai on Instakilo. In, in, on Instagram. Insta, Insta Kilo Instagram. Uh, okay. Okay. Didn't want to get that, but okay. Like the exact same. Oh, so cool. Just listening to them makes me tired. Butri and her friends sound like my old schoolmates. They. Your box of bowls are ready. Please enjoy. Oh, sweet. Let's eat. Karana's recommended baksu bowls look really tasty. The meaty scent of hot broth wafts under my nose. My growling stomach urges me to consume it fast. Um, I thank Karana for her recommendation. Uh, thank you for the recommendation. Uh, oh, she's, uh, this is the first time we're seeing Mentari smile. That's nice. It suits her. This looks so tasty. Well, you're welcome. Eat up. You won't regret it. I immediately cut the huge Baxo meatball into a bite-sized piece and put it in my mouth. A taste of salty meatiness from the Baxo covers my tongue with 
every bite I had. Oh, it's good, right? So good. I nodded along as I continue eating. Kirana smiles, watching me completely immersed in my back so heaven. Man, one of the devs really like back so dude. Like, this is some bias here. <laughs> As we enjoy our back, so I feel a stare coming from the side of us. I glance at Putri's table. Everyone else at the table is eating light snacks while Putri stares at me. Uh, oh, stop. oh no, Mentari, don't. Come on, you don't have to, like, mind what they're. You know what? Sure. Yeah. Social anxiety does that to you. Okay, fair. Mm. What? You want some of my Putri? I mean, my. You want some of my back, so Putri, huh? Are you tired of eating. Your freaking light ass sandwiches. Your gluten free, meatless sandwiches. You want my glorious, meaty, succulent bakso? But Putri continues to stare. I don't remember doing anything that could have offended her. Or maybe I did it by accident? I don't know. You know what? Based from her design, she doesn't look like a bitch. I hope I'm right. I hope I'm right. Maybe she's just one of those popular girls that is actually just friendly as heck. But. <laughs> Put, put, a male student shows up and patted Putri's shoulder. Uh, huh? Alvin? You startled me. Oh, there's he Deku pala to eh. Oh, he has a freaking, uh, he has a freaking beauty mark too. Damn. Is he, uh, I don't know. Is he a nerd or is he like one of those popular? I mean, he just like, casually tapped the shoulder of the most popular girl. So, probably cool as heck. Cool glasses, dude. Okay. Uh, what do I? What voice do I give him? Ah, he's pale as heck too. Ugh. I'll give him Deku's voice or something. <laughs> Have you eaten? <laughs> um, your mom texted me that you haven't eaten since last night. Your mom texts? Oh, they're probably in their relationship. I'm on a diet, Vin. Ooh, Putri's on a diet. Yeah, yeah, see? She was look definitely looking at that back, so... Back, so too good. You're already skinny, but... Yeah, put some meat on those, but... Putri's friend, uh, friend sees her over her diet program. Ah, I, I get it now. Putri wasn't staring at me, but at the back, so I'm eating. Seems like she's really hungry. <laughs> Putri's still... What are you? Oh no! Oh no, Putri, are you are you talking in the third person? Oh no! Oh, oh, oh Putri, still fat like this? I never want to let myself go. Like, oh, don't you dare! Don't you freaking mention Kirana's name? I swear to God, Putri, I had high hopes on you. Please do not shatter those those perceptions. Come on. Oh, huh? Putri looks over at Kirano, who's still- Damn it! I hate this! Damn! Why you gotta be like that, Put? Ah! That animal, Put? Oh, no, Put! Oh, why? Ah. Okay. I'm so disappointed, Put. Aka, Put. I consciously look away. Kirana may be on the larger side, but she's healthy and strong. I know, right? There's nothing wrong with Kirana's body as long as she's healthy. Tama! Like, look at sumo wrestlers. Dude, sumo wrestlers are probably the healthiest freaking people in the freaking world. Do you know how much exercise they do and how the, the food they eat? Damn, so good. Having something unhealthy once won't make anyone suddenly fat either. Tama! As long as you balance it with something healthy as well. Her poultry's weight will increase even if I eat a, only a whittle. Yeah, I'm just gonna give her like a stupid baby voice. Yeah, that, yeah that's right, put. <laughs> just have a little then. Just have a little then, put. I'm scared, Vin. You don't get it. Continue eating your back so you don't give a shit about these guys. Come on. I don't feel good eavesdropping like this. Let me just finish up this box so. Kirano never stopped eating. It's too focused on her food to notice anything else happening. But I put a piece of backsoy in my mouth as I look in Putri's <laughs> Out of spite! She just put literally put this meatball in my mouth. Mmm, it's rough! It's rough! 
our eyes meet and we both, both look away in embarrassment. Oh, do you want me to buy your favorite Baxo? <laughs> um, Baxo? Yeah, better to eat rather than staring at other people's. Alvin, don't say that out loud. People will hear it. I struggled to hold back my laughter. Instead, I choked on some broth. <laughs> Oh, Mentari, are you all right? Uh, yes, I I'm all right. I just choked on, on the broth a bit. I can hear Putri and her friends laugh. I look down in shame. Kiran also looks down and whispers to me. Oh, don't pay any attention to that table. Popular cliques are always like that. Thinking they're all that. Especially the one named Putri. So pretentious. Um, do you know them? Oh, I mean, everyone here knows Putri. The most popular girl in school. I'm surprised a boy like Alvin could get close to a girl like that. I can only nod as I listen to Karana's explanation. Wait, what's wrong with... What's wrong with Alvin? Well, seems like I have to remember so many names. And like... And, and like... And like what, huh? A boy's voice cuts our conversation. Kirana and I look up from where, uh, from our whispered huddle. Aditya, the student council president who spoke before the ceremony, stood next to us. What? What is this? What? Are you so many things are happening with you, uh, Mentari. God damn. What's going on? You're getting the whole student body around you. I'm smelling a harem here. Oh shoot. Oh, do you like her, Kirana? Uh, huh? I, I did ya? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm getting like Rengoku vibes from him. <laughs> Umari! Umari! I did ya look so confident and affable. Mr. Affable Palate. Affable means friendly for those who didn't know. He wears the student council mark on his sleeve. He smiles at me after greeting Kirana. Well, I heard there's a new student in school, so I wanted to say hello. I went to class and you weren't there, so I asked around and they said you went out with Kirana. And we all know where Kirana hangs out. Must be the cafeteria. Hmm. Huh. Am I that predictable? Always in the cafeteria, huh? Uh, I didn't mean it like that. Ha <laughs> ha relax. Oh yeah, Dit, let me introduce you to that new student. We were friends in elementary school. Mentari is her name. Whoa, so your name is actually Mentari. I'm Aditya. Dip, uh, uh, shake his hand, right? <laughs> shake his hand. Give it to Dap me up, man. Dap me up. Totally out of character for Mentari, but I'll dap you up, bro. I'll dap you up. I offer my hand towards Aditya. M M Mentari. Aditya smiles and firmly shakes my hand. Aditya, nice to meet you, Mentari. All right, I have this. Aditya reaches into his pant pocket and pulls out a piece of candy. Why are you giving me a piece of candy? Of course, because he's Aditya. <laughs> Student council buying votes, right? As early as now, you know? So that people will vote for him on the next election. Let's go. He's doing everything right. Let's go. He offers his hand out to me with it. Uh, for you, Mentari. Uh, sorry, I haven't prepared a welcoming package for you because I was only made aware about the news this morning. So, sorry. Hey, take the candy from Aditya's hand. He seems kind-hearted going to all the trouble to think about welcoming packages and the like. Well, such a good person. No wonder he became student council president. Moved by his kindness, I smiled back at... Oh, girl. Too soon. Okay. Um... Thank you. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's a sweet smile. Yep, yep. Always, always warms your heart seeing the quiet, the quiet girl smile like that. Yep, 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 yep. I get it. I get it, buddy. I get it. Oh, oh, did that struck a little chord in your heart? Ooh, let's go, Mentari. But yeah, yes. <laughs> oh, uh, right. Sasha sends her regards. Uh, Sasha. Oh, uh, she was that. Uh, the girl that fainted during the ceremony, remember? I tried to remember the events during the ceremony. 
Um, oh, so, yeah, Sasha is still in the medical, so uh, she's unable to meet you in person yet. When I visited her, she said, um, um, Send my regards to the new student. Which is you! <laughs> I nod slowly. Uh, by the way. Yes? Uh, what do you think of the school? Cozy, isn't it? No one has been mean to you, right, Mentari? Not yet. The events of the day flashed through my mind. I got dropped off by Dad, then I was welcomed by Kirana and Miss Lena and oh, and Leo too. Then in class, I met Ayu, and then then this Putri, who also didn't. Uh, I don't know. Everyone is hmm, weird. This school feels too safe for me. It's it's weird. Isn't that a good thing or is that a red flag for you? <laughs> Yeah, I kind of feel like that, you know, so like something is drawing you into like a false sense of safety and you just, you think it's, everything's just too perfect, you know? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? It can't be like that. No way. Anyways. Um, safe. Safe? Uh, uh, uh nothing. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm so glad to hear that you feel safe. A school is supposed to be your second home. It's supposed to be safe. I nodded at Ditya. Second home, huh? Oh, I never thought of school as a second home before. School felt too scary to be considered as a he as a second home. With this many people, how could how could you call this home? <laughs> Typical extrovert. Uh, Mentari. Um, yes. Ha! Yeah, you know, just relax. Um, okay. But you're not you're not full time back you know, come you know. Uh, oh, get over here! Oh shoot, here we go. Speaking of safe, let's do this. Let's freaking go. Drama. Drama. A shout pierces from the hallways. A boy runs toward the cafeteria while being chased by another one. Ah, oh. Oh, here comes the freaking bancho of the school of cars. Oh, it's Alex. Damn. Could be Alex and Donnie, who knows? Oh, that's what the one does it. I said, get over here! Don't you dare run away from me! Oh, damn, what the heck? Oh, he's bullying this kid. Oh, no, the hentai protagonist. Oh, you do not mess with this hentai protagonist, bro. He's gonna time stop you and he's gonna do things to you, bro. Why would I approach someone evil like you? <laughs> evil? Who are you calling evil? You're the one who's been calling people evil. I was right, wasn't I? Ayu is indeed your favorite. Wow, wow, oh, here. Yo, bro. Chill with the sound effects, man. The whole cafeteria is now a ruckus. Alex seems to be fighting with another student I don't recognize. Donnie, standing behind Alex, clenches his fist. Oh, come on, Donnie, come on. 1v1 only. Don't jump, don't jump. <laughs> this is our number two? <laughs> <laughs> this is number two of our year, but <laughs> damn Donnie. <laughs> okay, I love. Oh my god, he's a weeb. He's definitely a weeb. Damn, who who wears a freaking kanji undershirt, bro? Come on, come on, Donnie, bro. <laughs> Timmy, go <laughs> to He's a weeb. I fuck. I was right. <laughs> I was freaking right. Oh, sorry. Are, you guys can't see the, the the hentai protagonist guy. Wait, let me change my camera real quick. Timmy! Donnie, Alex, and their foe ready to fist fight in the center of the cafeteria. Kirana pulls me out to stay away while Aditya approaches them. The people in the cafeteria gathered round to witness what was happening. Everyone, calm the heck down. Calm your tits. Calm down, you say? This bastard just insulted Ayu. I'm just stating the truth. You sure you still want to run your mouth? Suddenly, I felt dizzy. Alex's brutish words echoed in my head. Feels like I've heard those words before, but where? There. Mantari! Let's get out of here, back to class, yeah? Come on, be strong, Mantari! My body feels weak, but Kirana was right. I have to be strong. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, I you wouldn't be happy if you had a fight here, Alex. So, 
Try and remember why you're defending Ayu like this. Uh, this is none of your business, debt. This is between me and Alex. Damn. For a hentai protagonist, he got a lot of spunk. Of course. If you make a fuss at school, it's clearly my business. Uh, are you? Are you? It seems to have something to do with Alex for him to get so angry. Get over here, asshole! Alex readies a punch. Oh no, this is bad. I ran out of the cat. I ran out of the cafeteria. No, don't run! I want to see what happens. Mintari! Oh, I have to. Oh man, okay. You know what? I don't want to. As much as I want to stay in character here, I kind of don't want. I don't want. I don't want social suicide. Uh, suicide for. Um. <clears throat> For Mintari here. And if you snitch to a teacher, that's gonna you're gonna lose social points with the student body, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna call Ayu. And fuck Leo. I'm never calling for Leo. Call Ayu. I run towards my class. Ayu must be there. And some bung was a girlfriend. Let's go! Let's go! I wanna see people punching each other though. What the heck? Running out of breath, my legs can't keep up with my pace. <clears throat> my nose can't keep up with his. <laughs> yeah. Ouchies. I fell into someone that I didn't see. Could be a guy, could be a girl. Oh, when I open my eyes, I see Sasha, who also fell down in front of me. Oh no, that's the, first, that's the second time she fell down today. <laughs> Sorry. Sash, Sasha? Ooh, she cute. She's Deng Chen coded for sure. Uh, I quickly stand up and help Sasha get up. Uh, I'm sorry, Sasha, isn't it? Y y yeah. Are you the new student? I nod. Oh yeah, she. Social anxiety buddies. Let's go. I nod. I nod. I was going to introduce myself, then I remember Alex and his rival are currently having a commotion in the cafeteria. Um. Uh. I'll see you later. Uh, what? I run, leaving a confused Sasha behind. Are you Chuan? Are you who was eating her lunch with another student immediately looked at me, who was shouting at the door of the classroom. Other students also turned towards me. Oh no! What do you say? Oh no! 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 Now it's not the time, Mandari. Um. Uh. Ayu approaches me at the door. What's wrong, Mintari? C cafeteria. The Alex. Alex? Fight. Ah, oh, damn it! Ayu runs towards the cafeteria. I keep up with Ayu from behind. Whoa, damn. Good job, Mintari. What is going on here? Jeez. Game saved. <clears throat> okay. When we reach the cafeteria, Kirana approaches me in a panic. Mintari, where did you run off to? I gasped for breath because I was tired. Kurae! Blah! Oh, they're actually fist fighting now. Let's freaking go. Who got hit? Who got hit? Alex! <clears throat> Wait, what? Alex, who had been punching his opponent, stopped and fell silent. His knuckles looked red. Oh no, he's been beating someone up. God damn, Alex! Are you? Ayu breaks up the fight by holding Alex and his, and his opponent's hands up. Alex silently complies with whatever Ayu had in mind. Donnie let go of his restraint on Alex's foe and retreated into the crowd. What the what? The Damn, cowards. Cowards, all of them, bro. Donnie held the opponent. Ah, damn, dude. Poor schoolboy hentai prog. <laughs> What's the point of punching each other? Does anything get solved with fists? Actually, sometimes they do. Yeah. Sometimes. <sighs> what are you fighting over anyway? You, know, you don't need to know. Well, if I'm not allowed to know, does that mean it's not important? Well, it is important, you. Then why? Uh. 
Ayu let go of their wrists. The students who was fighting Alex ran away from the cafeteria. All spectators are in awe of Ayu's ability to stop the fight. But can the school stop Alex though? Ooh! The crowd breaks into a murmur of, hush of hushed conversations gushing over Ayu. And what are you all looking at? Chastised, the crowd dispersed and everyone heads back to their seats. Damn, what a girl boss. Let's go. Put Alex in his leash, girl. Kiran and I stood still because our seats were taken by other students. opportunista. <laughs> Mentari, thank you. Wait, don't say don't say my name. I oh no. Now freaking Alex knows who called for ya. Ayu smiles at me. Surprised, all I can do is nod. Okay. After the atmosphere returned to normal, Kirana and I found our seats. What a very eventful first day of school, Mentari. Let's go. You ran You ran to call Ayu, didn't you? Um yeah. Well it's a good thing you did it quickly. If not, well, hmm. Wasn't Aditya? Yeah, what happened to Aditya? What the heck happened? He, um, if there is a fight, he, oh, don't tell me he's a coward. Oh, oh, he's a teacher's pet. Maybe he, he called for the freaking teacher or something. What happened? What happened, Aditya? Come on. No way, bro. What Whatever happened to that? I must be involved because I'm the student council president. All bark, no bite. Mm, let's see. Break time's over. Oh no. Let's hurry to class. This is a killer teacher. Oh, is it Miss Lena? Oh yeah, she definitely got killer looks. That's for sure. Kiran and I scurry back to the class. Aditya. What's going on with him? Yeah, Aditya. Are you a ditzy coward too? I open the door to the psychologist's office. Golden rays of light radiate from the window's room. You know what? I hope that I and everyone else will never have to go through this freaking room. You know? If you need to, please do. But I hope we never have to. You know? Um, excuse me? Miss Jasmine? Miss Jasmine looking fine as heck too, by the way. Damn. Very Deng Chen coded. Come in. Min Mentari, right? Just came back from school? Um, yes, ma'am. Uh, how was your first day? Uh, mm -hmm. It's alright if things didn't go smoothly. The healing process won't be a linear and straightforward process. It's a jagged, winding road that we must navigate. Wonder how many times you've said that. Sometimes we move forward. Sometimes we step back. Well, I, I had a panic attack when my classmates swarmed me in class. Ma'am, can I really get better? I have taken my meds and I am doing this counseling with you as well. And yet, I'm still... Of course you can, Mentari. You have gone through some trauma from your old school and it will leave some scars, Mentari. But those scars are proof that you are a strong girl who succeeded in overcoming everything. Well, my new friends are so nice too. I recall the events of the morning. My classmates tried to get to know me, but I panicked. They have good intentions, but why do I still... It's, it's fine, girl. It's fine. It's part of the process. It's good that you're able to recognize their good intentions, Mentari. Yeah, that's a step in the right direction. Not everyone has bad intentions towards you, Mentari. It's normal for you to feel wary because of your trauma, but please try to remember that most people in this world are good people. Is this what they say during session? Man, okay. I just want to live a normal life. But you are normal. Is that how is that what you're supposed to say? Hmm. How am I normal? See, now she's confused. I don't know. I'm not a psychologist. I can't. I just, this is my nursing days just giving me, like, talking to people with social anxiety and trauma. You gotta be empathetic and not put words into their minds or so. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not an expert. Let's see. I always get anxious and panic. 
I'm such a burden for Dad and Kirana. Even Ayu. Ayu, is she a new friend? I nod. No one said you're not normal. You're a human being. You wake up in the morning, you eat your breakfast, you do everything that your mother, your father, Kirana, and Ayu do. The only difference is the experiences we go through. Um, Mentari, what does it mean to you to be not normal? Um, being weird? And what's wrong with being weird? Weird people get shunned. Are you shunned in your new school? No. But at my old school... Remember, Mentari, the present takes priority. If a fish is told to live on land, it won't be able to survive. You can finally get a quiet pool to swim in. It wasn't so quiet if you ask me. <laughs> it was, there's a frig. There's an invasive species there, Alex and Donnie. Suddenly, Aditya's words echo in my mind. I'm so glad to hear that you feel safe. A school is supposed to be your second home. It is supposed to be safe. Well, I'm, I'm afraid. If I feel safe, something bad will happen. It's her survival instincts kicking in. Why do you think that? I don't know. I just feel afraid. Well, that's a part of dealing with your trauma. Mentari is terrified of what happened in the past. Nowadays, is there anything bad happening? Um, I take a deep breath. I saw a fight on my first day, but that had nothing to do with me. The day was relatively normal. <laughs> a fight breaking out. A girl <laughs> fainting in the middle of the flag ceremony. Yep. Relatively normal, sure. Good. You know what? Maybe. Huh. Yeah, maybe I'm too harsh on psychologists. Maybe th their approach to therapy is totally different from how we nurses uh, do it. Like, our therapy. Uh, nursing therapeutic communication is all about empathy, but uh, it's mostly for people who you want. Uh, who just want someone to listen to them. But. If you're going or actively going to therapy, I think a more proactive or active approach from the therapist would be more effective. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, yeah. Anyways, uh, sure doesn't feel like I've attended Regina High for a week. Damn, we're in chapter two. Let's go. Let's finish chapter two and then uh, see, uh, see if we can go further. My day-to-day -day life is pretty normal with Kirana by my side at all times. Unlike my previous school, the curriculum of Regina High is more difficult and challenging than I expected. I did have higher expectations from this excellent private school, but... But... Harry... Maybe I'm not smart enough? Or maybe I'm not trying hard enough? I don't know... Mentari! I should try harder? But how much harder? Feels like all my efforts are in vain. Oh, man, Tare! Uh, uh, yes, Leo! Uh, the whole class burst into laughter, reacting to my sudden help. I immediately look down in shame. Leo gives me a stern look. He rarely acts like that to the other students. Seems like I've made him angry. Pay attention to the class, okay, Mentare? God. Don't freaking tell me. Okay, wait a moment. It just hit me. This game is all about mental health, right? And her name is Mentari. Indonesian peeps. Is this a pun? Or is Mentari actually an Indonesian name? I can't get it off my head. God damn. Okay. Mental Mentari. Oh, sure. Sure, man. We are teaching and learning activities, so please, focus on the learning process first. I stayed quiet. I have caused problems. Oh no, I'm indeed useless. Damida. Damidane. Do you even know what we were discussing? 
I shake my head softly. Ugh. We were discussing the center of economic activity in the United States. Why are you guys discussing that in an Indonesian school? What the? What is this? When I ne we never discussed that back in high school. What the? Hmm. According to Mintari, which city is it? According to Mintari. Oh, you mean like, oh, you mean this. What's the capital of the United States? What the? Center of economic. Okay, just capital. Okay, yeah, we did learn that. Sorry, my bad. Uh, It's Washington, D.C. I mean, if we're talking about capital, it should be Washington, right? But like New York is like the business capital of the United States. Oh my God, I don't know. I don't know my U.S. geography. I'm gonna go for Washington D.C. This is what I'm. I know. Wrong, Mentari. The center of economic activity is the U. Fine, sure. Okay. The, the key word there was economic. He's not asking for the capital. Boboko balay. Alright, I should have stuck with my with my instincts there. Okay. My my bad. My bad. Chicago is a regular city, whereas Washington, D.C. is its capital, government center. Now, in New York, there is a street that is famous for its theatrical shows. Do you know what the name of the street is? Yes, I played Spider-Man. I know what it is. It's Broadway. Correct. Broadway is a street name that is famous for its theatrical shows. So, we were discussing theater and drama. Does Mentari know what kind of art drama is? Yeah, that's you. That's you, Leo. Expression through movement. Absolutely correct, -dick. Drama is an enactment expressed through movement. Period. Even without sound, without props, a good drama will be able to tell its own story with just movement. Kirana, who sat beside me, raises her hand. Uh, yes, Kirana. Well, how is drama different from dance if they both tell a story with movement? Good question, Kirana. Oh, take that, Leo. Take that. A oh, good question. Try it, Mentari. What do you think is the difference between dancing? She's asking you, Gago Kaba. What the heck, Leo? Stop. If you don't have an answer, don't pass it on to your student. God damn. What is wrong with Leo, bro? I mean, theater has music too. I've attended, like, recently attended, like, the Spirited Away Theater. It was so magical and beautiful. It had dialogue, though. Dance doesn't tell a story. Yes, it does. Dance is accompanied by music, but theater does. They're the same. They're the same. They're the same. I'm pretty sure they're the same. They're the same. Not entirely correct. Shut up. I will. <sighs> oh, no, no. Sorry, sorry. My bad, my bad. I'm acting like Alex right now. Do not be an Alex, Guapo. Not entirely correct. Dance and drama are different, but not in meaning. Dance is the act of moving to music. While drama doesn't have to use music. I know, but it, it they're still there. They're pretty much... <laughs> Come on, man. In drama, performers, performers will play certain roles and try to act like the character in the story. I bought a video for all you to watch. I love movie time. It's the only time where I get to sleep. Because, like, the, the lights are off and stuff. Good times. Good times. My classmates hoot and holler with joy. We always use use watching in class as a refreshing activity from the fatigue of studying. Tama. It's usually Leo who always provides a distraction in the middle of his Indonesian language lessons. After a while, we see Leo struggling to switch on our classroom projector. That always happens. It happens. Happens. A lot. He keeps pressing the button on the remote, but the projector doesn't seem to switch on. Yep. Yep. Classic. Classic high school happening. Uh, what's going on? Why is it at Tardy on? Well, maybe the remote's battery is empty. Just as we are going to use it. Oh, oh well. And Tari? Bakit ba ako na lang lagi? Ano ba problema mo, Leo? What is your problem with me, Leo? Why you gotta keep... Why you gotta keep on... On picking on me, man? Come on, man. What the heck is wrong with this guy? I hate this guy, bro. I don't mean, like... Uh, that happens to... Uh, that happens a lot in high school as well. Like, a teacher would have a favorite person to bully. 
What the heck? She has Leo? Oh, no need to stammer like that. I don't bite. <laughs> Not yet. Another round of laughter from my classmates. See, see what I mean? Damn. He's, use, he's using us for his stupid jokes. What the heck? I look down in shame, hiding my face behind my hair. Oh, I will report you, bro. Kirana looks at me with pity, but that makes me feel even more ashamed. Um, uh... Yes, uh, Mentari, could you please get batteries from the administration room? I look at Leo, startled. Mentoxena! <laughs> Uh, you do know where the administration room is, right? Uh, I honestly know where the administration room is, but why me? I know, right? What is wrong with you, man? Is it because I offended him? But if I leave, the whole class might talk about me and laugh at me again. I can take her there, Leo. Mentari's still quite new here, so she might get lost. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 sure, you may. Uh, be quick. Be quick, da. Kirana. Yes, Leo. That's so weird calling your teacher just with his first name. What the heck? Okay. Kirana takes my hand and leads me out of class. On the way, Kirana discreetly whispers to me. Hey, it's all right. Leo is always like that. I don't know what I would do at school without Kirana. Is this the second day? It's probably second day. Kirana and I walk through the hallways hand in hand. Well, you do know where the administration room is, right? Uh, I do? I'm sorry I had to bring you into. Cut it out. Just relax, Mentari. It got me out of class anyway. Hey, <laughs> hey. Smile at Kirana who chuckles. Mm hmm. I'm so lucky to have a friend like Kirana. She's been with me ever since elementary school. Up till now, Kirana is the best of friends that I have. Cherish that. As we walk in past the library, I see a familiar looking person carrying books out. His thin body with thick glasses and a sluggish posture makes him stand out in my memory. That's probably Deku. She old for what? Him. Oh, hey, Alvin. Um, hey, Kirana. Kirana, right? Yep, I'm Kirana. Uh, and you? Alvin looks at me feebly. He seems fatigued. How you doing? <laughs> Are you okay? You look pale. Oh, I'm okay. Thank you for worrying. I'm Alvin. And you are? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm Mentari. Are you really okay? I look at Alvin worriedly. He probably has like anemia or something. Uh, he really does look scrawny and pale. He looks like he will faint at any given moment. I'm good. Just didn't sleep enough. Stayed up late last night studying. Studying? Hmm. It's not even a test coming up. First rank student in the whole school is truly a different breed. Meanwhile, the second the second rank student is just freaking harassing everyone. Okay. There's no exams to study for. <laughs> Alvin looks away and covers his face with that. Oh, I'm such a baka. Oh, Hatsukashine. I recall that Alex has always been at the second rank, which means Oh, Alex is the second rank. That that motorcycle dude? Come on, bro. What the? Damn, bro. Damn. That sucks. Hmm. <laughs> Some people are just bored with all the luck, huh? But not the attitude. <laughs> what are you doing in the library? Looking for a specific book? Oh, no. We're heading to the administration room. Catch you later, Vin. Um, okay. Kirana waves her hand at Alvin. I just nodded at Alvin, who waved his hand awkwardly at us. As we go down the stairs, Kirana suddenly stops. Hmm? Kirana? Hmm. Can you smell that? I can't. I honestly can't. My nose is clogged up right now. What the heck? This is... No, don't tell me. Baksa. 
now that Karana mentions it, I start to smell a weird scent near the... St oh, shit. Don't tell me. Someone's smoking. Someone's smoking. Someone's freaking smoking. Classic high school. Classic high school. There's always those bad, bad bunches who would smoke. Whatever the hell they're going to smoke, they're going to smoke inside the school. I don't know what's going on now in today's school, in high school, though. Because, like, back in my days, we didn't have vape and shit. So, probably everyone has vape in their bags. Hmm. I mean, I don't thought, what is this? What is going on? What are they smoking? Is it actually smoking? An odor that makes breathing difficult. Nakopo! This scent! Ooh! I freaking knew it! <laughs> Ooh, I hate those. I hate those type of students. Goddamn, pretentious bastards that think they're so cool just because they smoke. Ooh, that in a... I know. They probably have emphysema. Right now. I'm talking about my batchmates. Anyway, smells of cigarettes. What the? If someone is caught smoking in school, there will be consequences. Um, teachers aren't allowed to smoke here either, right? That's right, Mintari. Not even teachers. Could it be a student? Let me guess. It's Alex. Or, or, you know what? You know what? You know, like... You know what a, a really good plot twist would be? What if it's Aditya? What if Mr. Student Council President is the one smoking? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, that would be great. Let's see. Kirana walks towards the source of the cigarette smell in the corner of the hallway. I follow from behind. Oh my god! Do you know who? 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 The big reveal. Who could it be? Oh shit! Kirana looks surprised and moved behind me. Hey, stupid, what are you doing here? After Kirana stepped away, Alex and Donnie came out from behind the wall in the corner. Oh shoot! So it's not Alex and Donnie. <gasps> Sino to? Oh, could it be Ayu? Come on, Ayu's probably in class right now. Come on. No way. No freaking way. Wait, what? Eh? The smell of cigarettes spreads as Alex approaches. Oh shit, it is them. It is them. Oh, okay, all right. Damn. Not e Yeah, I know, right? Not even vape. Cigarettes. I'm pretty sure 2019 and 2020 had vapes. <laughs> I, I, guess, I guess cigarettes were easier to like hide. All right. In confusion, he throws the lit cigarette to the ground. Nahupu, Alex! Yuck! Turn off! Ew! Ah. Oh, I have never... I'm... Not gonna have anything to do with you, Alex. Yuck. Poor Ayu, bro. If Ayu finds out, or... Oh, man. Oh, man. I, I swear to God. It's always the, the prim and proper girls who falls in love with, like, the rough gangster types. Not in a... Turn off. Kadire. Yuck. Bonnie was standing behind him. Immediately steps on the cigarette butt. Of course the weeb. Of course the weeb also does it. <sighs> Kisama, aren't you two supposed to be in class? What are you doing here? Uh, please don't tell Ayu about this. Huh, Ayu? Nazida. Oi, Deme! Weren't you the one who called Ayu that time? Oh, sh of course they remember. <laughs> oh, God! Why pang blackmail at Ayu? We got blackmail. Alright. Things are getting interesting, goddamn. You know we're n you're not allowed to smoke in the school. Even teachers. You don't need to repeat the school rules that everybody's forced to memorize. Well, you might get an official warning letter from school, you know. Huh, they've already they've already got out from so many troubles already though. Yeah, that depends. Depends on whether there's a tattletale around or not. Uh, does I you know you guys smoke? <laughs> no, they don't. Um, I you doesn't know? I make eye contact with Alex and Donnie suspiciously. They look awkward as if covering something up. It seems like I may have hit a nerve. I shouldn't have said anything. No, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. What? 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 what, what? 
You don't need to know. There is silence among us. We look at each other. Come on, dude. Smoking in the hallways. <laughs> what the heck is wrong with this guy? You could could have at least done it in the bathroom or something. Or behind the gym. Like, in the hallway. Stupid. Stupid. How are you ranked two? How are you ranked in the whole freaking school, man? We're gonna leave now to the administration room. <laughs> are you gonna tattle? No, we're going to get batteries. Tehran hurriedly takes my hand and walks quickly away from Alex and Donnie. Mm -hmm. Like Kirana, I was too worried to look behind us. But one thing's for sure. The further we got away from them, the more the cigarette smell disappeared. Alex and Donnie? Are they really that reckless? Why? What the frick is going on with these guys, dude? What is their issue? Ah. Yuck. You turn off. Mm. I hope to God that the next generations would stop cigarette smoking. I really hope so. Like, even vapes. Like, fuck off with that. Mm. Anyways. Um... <sighs> Kiran and I were out of breath from walking so quickly away from Alex and Donnie. We stopped in front of the empty teacher's room as the most, uh, as most of them are currently in class. Thank God. No. <sighs> what? We're being chased. Chased by who? Startled, Kiran and I glanced toward the source of the sound. Miss Lena stands straight in the. <laughs> Miss Lena! Who is chasing you? Hmm? Um, no one, ma'am. Don't lie. You both look exhausted. Who is chasing you that you have to run? Um, we need to get to the administration room soon. Uh, yeah, we we need to get to the administration room. <laughs> hmm. Is that correct, Mentari? You know what? You know what? I don't want to cause trouble for Kia, Kira, 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 here. Okay, I'm just gonna say yes. So she's helped us out so much. I don't want to cause trouble. So for now, yes. If Kirana's not gonna tattle tail, I'm not gonna tattle tail. If she tells on the teacher, I will support her 100%. I will back her up. So this is me backing her up right now. Hi. Yeah, that's right, miss. Miss Lena breathless breathes deeply. She knows, she knows we're bullshitting right now. Next time, no need to run, yeah? What the heck happened to my voice? <laughs> Just relax. No one is chasing you. Well, act. Come on, Karana. Don't me. Don't. Don't not. Don't. Don't do it. Don't retract. Don't retract. Please keep. Keep our narrative consistent. Please. Actually, we were chased by. Oh yo. <laughs> oh yo. You made me look like a liar here. Damn. <laughs> Woo. She about to make a name for herself there. Huh. Um, please excuse us, ma'am. Very well, no need to run, okay? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay, we didn't elaborate further, okay? As Kirana and I are about to leave, we hear Ai's voice calling out to us. Ooh, what the heck is going on? What are these events? Why is Ai suddenly here? Dude, whoa. Bro. We're triggering flags left and right. I turn around to see her approaching us. Mentari? Kirana? Um, are you? Uh, what's up? I looked for you in the administration room and you, you weren't there. Well, there's no need for you to get the batteries anymore. Apparently, Leo forgot to plug in the projector. Oh, God. Uh, so what a dumbass. I know, right? Oh, right. Um, have you seen Alex and Donnie? Somebody told me they're skipping class again. Hmm. Mentari, what were Alex and Donnie doing when you met them? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Minecraft. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Realistically. If you're a person... You're a new girl. 
coming out with trauma and social anxiety you do not want to you do not want to start trouble at all you want to keep out of it you do not want to get yourself involved with anything so yep i'm gonna lie to them they um i mean technically we're not lying they were just hanging out right with, with sticks on their with cancer sticks on their hands but you know, still hanging out i glance at kirana she seems tense awaiting my next words um, they, they were just hanging out, ma'am. Miss Lena lets out another sigh. Yep, she can see through your bullshit inventory. I get that Alex is so smart, but this is not the way to go about things. Are you... Is something going on with Alex? Uh, well, as far as I know, his dad had another fight with his mom, miss. Ooh, parental issues. Yeesh. Doesn't excuse him for acting like a freaking asshole. Still, though, how can he still be ranked two with everything going on? Hmm. Alex had told me so. I don't think Alex is ready to learn in class under these conditions. <sighs> is that so? Go tell Alex and Donnie to get back to class. Um, yes, miss. And then she sees the <laughs> freaking still smoking. Thanks for trusting me. All right. You better get going. I need to get back to grading assignments. Me, Kirana, and I, you excuse ourselves to Miss Lena before going back to Alex and Donnie. Hmm. Arriving at the last place we saw Alex and Donnie, uh, you paused and turned towards me. You guys go first. I'll catch up. Theo is definitely waiting for you two. Then, uh, what about you, you? <laughs> oh, don't worry. Um, I'll take care of Alex and Donnie. Oh, man, I really wanna- I wanna- I wanna eavesdrop, bro. I wanna eavesdrop so freaking much. I wanna do it. This is so out of character for a Mentari, but come on, bro, like... We you got you. We gotta be a marites here. We gotta. I gotta do it for the for the for the. Mm. I pull Kirana's hand softly. Let's go back to class. Oh what? I thought we were gonna. Okay. We walk towards the stairs and take a couple of steps up. Suddenly, Kirana stops and whispers, "I'm curious." Let's watch from here and see what's up. See, even Karana agrees. Let's go, Karana. I nod at Karana. We both head behind the staircase wall and watch what happens. Hey, at least we're not the one who initiated the eavesdropping. So, Oh, yeah, not put Alex, Donne, get out. Oh, 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 oh. Mm, 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 mm. I know. Alex and Donnie march out from behind the wall. They both look wary and embarrassed. Oh no! Ooh! No bo! No bo! Tangay na bobo nyo! Oh my God, Alex, Donnie, you guys are so stupid for being one of the smartest in the school. I swear to God, man. What is... Oh, dude. Come on. <sighs> this gotta be good. Nyan, nyan. I know. I know. I know. Gomena, sorry. Alex didn't do anything, you. I was the one who asked him to smoke. Oh, that is such a lame excuse, bro. That is... Uh, I know. So, walang... <laughs> Alex doesn't have any autonomy in his fucking stupid-ass brain. Come on. No. Ooh, ooh, and they're gonna freaking Yo, I swear to God. I swear to God. They're gonna blame us. They're gonna blame us for Ayu finding out. Wh what? No, Donnie, I No need to take responsibility alone like that. Regardless of who invites, the person who joins in is still at fault. Yeah, you tell him, boss. Didn't you think that if you got caught by the teacher, you would get a warning letter? Uh, don't ever try a stunt like this ever again. Whoa, she's actually kind of taking this a bit well. Whoa. 
What the heck? Probably not the first time it happened. Shit. Okay, you. No, okay, you stop him, bro. Stop him, you. Slap some sense into him. I was in awe and surprised by Ayu's assertiveness. She can make even the biggest troublemakers obey her. Oh, not even the teachers can do that. Baka Ayu yarn! If you really consider me a close friend, please respect my feelings too. Yan, Yan, gaslight him, Ayu. Uh, let's go! I don't want you to get suspended or worse, expelled. Alex looks down and nods in response. Seems like Ayu succeeded in making them feel ashamed. I let out a sigh of relief and takes Kirana's hand. What is uh, who is Ayu? Is Alex's lover or freaking second mom? She's acting better than <laughs> than a normal mother would. Okay, I let out a sigh of relief and take Kirana's hand. Come on, let's get to class. Kirana nods and we'll leave those three in the hallway. Well, I hope everything's going to be fine. Until it wasn't. Um, um. Nice. So that was it. Oh, that, what a turn off. If I was IU, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have any romantic feelings for that, Alex. For sure, bro. A school bell rings, signaling the end of the day. I quickly organize my stationery and put it in my bag. God, I go! Ah, God, that's a job scare. Ah, geez, why does that keep happening? <laughs> sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Chat, I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is a horror game. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The other students cheer happily and say their goodbyes to Miss Lena, who immediately excuses herself from the class. And Tari, I'm really sorry, but I have to have, have had to head straight home and can't keep you company while you wait for your ride home. My mom's already here to pick me up, and I have to go shopping with her. Uh, it's all right, Mentari. I got this. I mean, uh, Kirana. I, uh, it's okay, Kirana. Thank you for always accompanying me. Well, I'm sorry, Mentari. Are you sure? Yeah, I, I am. Okay, then. And I'm going home now, okay? Kirana runs off, leaving me in class alone. I hope Alex and Donnie doesn't confront me. Oh my goodness, I can smell it ha I can smell it coming though. God damn, dude. I grab my backpack hanging on my chair and head in the same direction. When I reached the hallway, the school seemed to be getting quiet as the other students were getting were either getting picked up or going home on their own. The few left in the hallway were hanging out before heading home. I take out my phone and order myself a scooter taxi online. Let's go, Ankas! Let's go. Hmm. Got one. The scooter is pretty far away. It looks like I'm in for a long wait. What are you people doing? Oh, a shouting sound comes from a classroom located not far from where I am. Damn, bro. Even more drama. Let's go. Second day of school. A couple of students in the area turn their heads to see what's going on, but then just go on about their business. Uh, it's probably Alex and Donnie again. Uh, that's it. That's it. I don't want to deal with you anymore. After the, that last shout, Leo emerges from the classroom and looks at me startled. Oh, the walk out to teacher. The walk out to teacher. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shoot. Minecraft. Oh, what's happening? <clears throat> Excuse me, Mentari. He nods softly and give way for Leo to pass through. Bro, he looks pretty pissed off. I've never seen Leo that angry. Leo is usually friendly, outgoing, and cheerful. Yeah, if you, if you make the teacher walk, if you make that kind of teacher walk out, yeah, you definitely fucked up. It would be scary if he were to be that angry at me. Ah, uh, of course, of course, it's, of course, it's Alex. But, uh, what a nuisance! Alex's voice can be heard from the classroom. I freeze up. I want to go get outside. I have to pass the class. Oh no! Alex and Donnie must be inside. I just already gone home. There's no way I can call her. Oh no! I'm in time. We can do it. You can do it. You can do it, Mitari. I. I'd love to sneak past the classroom, but that's gonna. I don't know. I think sneaking past will draw more attention. Cause like, why are you sneaking past? 
I don't know. I think I'll... Oh, man. Yeah, I will just pass the classroom like normal. I don't know. Shit. I don't know what to do here. Hmm. You know what? The most interesting he thing to do here is sneak past. If it was me, I would just pass the classroom like normal. But it's... I don't know. I don't know what's going to go on here. I sneak past. I tried to sneak past the classroom. My heart is thumping like crazy. I don't want to deal with them anymore. But as I pass the doorway, my eyes meet Alex's. Who stand next to the... Gago ka kasi. Ba't kasi? Nagtitingin-tingin na. Hey! Mentari! I almost jump out of surprise. My hands tremble while holding my bag. Y y yes Get over here! Why should I? Um... Oh no. Oh no. Puta, why did you even... Why? Why would you... Why would you approach? Just get the heck out. Nandiyan yung scooter mo. Bro. Dude, the angkas is gonna call. Come on. Girl, their clothes look creased and damp from sweat. W w what's up? Your eyes, friend, aren't you? Uh, I used to... Technically, no, not yet. So what's going on? Friend? Uh, I don't recall Ayu ever saying that I was her friend. As far as I know, my only friend in the school is Kirana. I don't even interact that much with Ayu. Am I worthy to be called her friend? Uh, what? Let it go, Adiki. <laughs> stupid weep. I'm not sure if Ayu would ever befriend a girl like her. Aniki? What, what language is that? <laughs> what language? Oh no, Mentari ain't no weeb like us. No, she doesn't watch anime. Ah. She's a green flag. She doesn't watch anime. Let's go. No red flags for Mentari. Let's go. Urusi! Ah, you went home already, didn't she? I don't think she. they mean any trouble though. Okay. I don't think they're pissed off from what happened last time. Hmm. I nod. Alex looks out the window and sighs. <sighs> I'm glad you didn't see us just now. What? Well, I mean, don't tell Ayu we got scolded by Leo. Himitsu, wakaru. <laughs> no, wakarimasen. Wakarimasen, doni san. What the fuck? You should, you know what you should do, Donnie? You should damare right now, okay? You should dama stop. <laughs> Speak normally. Yeah, you tell him, Alex, you freaking weeb. Uh, I mean, Gomena, sorry. This is a secret. There you go. I, I nod again, awkwardly. Uh, I still don't understand why they're so close to Ayu and why it all has to be a secret. But then again, it's none of my business. Just stay out of trouble. That seems to be my goal. I have to get out of here as soon as possible. I I have to... Don't leave just yet. I still want to talk to you. What? what why? My, my uncast driver, bro. Looks like I'm trapped again. Oh my god. When can I leave in peace? <laughs> oh no. This is me every day when I go outside. Why does problems always come? Even though it feels like I'm behaving normally. What if the whole school ends up hating me for associating with these guys? Oh, good point, good point. What if they actually hate me? Yo, why do you always look so panicked and worried like that? Ah, well, you told me, but she doesn't dare ask you directly. What? Huh? I swear, no one is going to bite here unless you have to deal with Miss Lena. Oh, really? Really now? Mm? No one's going to bite here. Dude, you literally beat up a hentai protagonist. Like, a, a chapter before this. In front of everyone in the cafeteria. What do you mean? Okay, no one's going to bite, but punches are going to fly. What? But I've been dealing with Miss Lena. If it wasn't for her and Kirana's help, I wouldn't be able to go to school here. Mm -hmm. 
hey, if you don't want to talk, that's fine. Who am I anyway? Just a troublemaker, a broken home kid. Do not freaking gaslight me right now, Alex. Don't, don't put, do not pull out the victim card here. You do not deserve that. Shut up and let me go. <laughs> oh, no one wants to be my friend except for Ayu and Donnie. Hey, don't put it like that, Aniki. I'm sure the kids here just don't get guys like us. Because you guys are assholes. What do you mean? It's all your fault. Fine. Uh, man, these guys are out of touch. I mean, there are tons of girls waiting in line to hang out with you, Aniki. Yeah, but what for? If I date him, I'll just get called a player. Having a friend like Ayu leads to... Um, it's like last week in the cafeteria. Hmm? The event of that cafeteria incident flashes before my eyes. As I recall, a student accused Ayu of being promiscuous because she's close to Alex. Then Alex beat the student up because he insulted Ayu. Oh yeah, he did that for Ayu, huh? Okay, anything involving Ayu, pull that. This is such a windbreaker moment. <laughs> Seems like they have a special relationship. Well, you must think I'm in a relationship with Ayu. We're not. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Not romantically, I guess. Actually, Ayu already rejected me. Ha! That serve. That serve. That's because Ayu wasn't in the mood at the time, Aniki. I don't think he'll, she'll ever be in the mood, bro. Stop glazing him, Donnie. Well, if you try again... No, done. It's better if Ayu and I stay the way we are now. Oh, uh, it better. It freaking better. Ayu deserves better. I'm not good for her. I'm always getting into trouble. <laughs> and now I'm just spilling my guts in front of the new kid. Uh, guys, my Ankas rider is still waiting for me. <laughs> Alex laughs, but it's a forced laugh. Sad boy palatui! As if there's a certain sadness that he's trying to repress. Has he been a troublemaker all this time because he has a personal problem that he's keeping to himself? I don't really know much about him other than he's a super smart brat. Maybe this is his way of dealing with his sadness. Rebelling. Being an anarchist. Didn't he say he's a son of a broken home? Well, despite that, he still manages to pretend to be happy and laugh it up. Well, unlike me, who's this gloomy. Well... As we all fell silent, I remembered the candy from Aditya that I kept in my bag. Aditya gave it to me as a welcome gift to cheer me up. Should I give it to Alex to cheer him up? No, do not associate yourself with this guy. He has too many issues. You're dealing with your own issues here. Mentari. No need to... <laughs> no need to add more load. No, no, I don't know what else I can do. Hey. Is it okay for me to blabber on like this? Other kids will have already left. But not you. Uh, uh I'll just stay quiet, you know? Like, I don't... No, just stay, stay quiet. Stay quiet, Mentari. Don't give him... Do not patronize him. Okay? If you give him a piece of candy, he's gonna fall in love with you. I'm pretty sure. Because other than Ayu, no one else has shown him any kindness. So don't, don't do it. I know these type of people. Don't worry, just stay quiet. It's okay, we'll also kind of validate his feelings. So yeah, just stay quiet. I stay quiet because I'm afraid. Exactly. I don't know what to say. I don't want to deal with these guys anyway. Exactly. But I'm not brave enough to leave. <laughs> it's fine. I'm so pathetic. Um. Uh, well, is it because you're scared of me? Uh, it seems like it. Yeah. That's why I wasn't so sure about what I was saying about her. You. Well, eh, at least you don't run off like the others. Run off? I don't have the courage to do that. Suddenly, my phone rings. I check it. Oh, yung angkas! It seems the online scooter taxi I ordered has arrived at the school gates. I have to leave soon. But how? Just skedaddle. Hey, when are you heading home? Waiting for a ride? Y y yes. Well, if your ride's here, just go. Thank you. Ikimasho. Shupatsuda. Alex smiles at me. Don't, don't smile at me. Just don't do that. Let's talk again. No. Let's not talk again sometime. Girl, what the? 
Don't blush. What the heck is wrong with you, Mentari? No way, bro. Nah. Don't. Oh, man, these teenagers, bro. I swear. My. <laughs> heck off. Get the off, Donny. Matasta. See you tomorrow. I don't understand what Donny just said, but I want to. But I wave to them and jog my way to, way to the great gates. Today, too many things happened that I feel a bit dizzy. But now, at least I understand a little bit about Alex and Donny. They need friends, and Ayu is the only one who seems to get them. But can I be their friend? Do you want to be their friend, Mentari? But they... Uh, they're troublemakers. I don't want to be shunned for associating with them. Uh, this is hard. Maybe I'll tell Kirana about this tomorrow. Yeah. You're in a very difficult situation here, Mentari. Just, you know, play it safe for now, I guess. Ah, man. This game's interesting. Huh. The dismissal bell rings. I don't know why today feels faster than yesterday. Oh! <laughs> we went home, and then fast forward to the next day, and now school's school, school has ended. Probably because nothing strange happened. Today, there were no incidents of Alex and Donnie's trouble either. Did they become obedient all of a sudden? Finally going home. So, what do you want to tell me? Kirana gently pats my shoulder. I already told her that I wanted to talk about her to her about something after school. I... Ayu! Oh, no. Oh, okay, sorry. It's not, he's calling for Ayu, not Mintari. Got it. Alex's voice could be heard from outside, followed by her approaching footsteps. Thanks for lunch. I'll return the box. Uy, puta pack lunch si Alex. Son all. You're welcome, Lex. Alex hands an empty lunch box to Ayu. Ayu puts it in her bag. As I witness this, Alex turns to me and smiles. Shut up, Alex. Hey, Mintari. Come here. Oh, no. Oh, Joe. Ah, uh, yeah. I turn to Kirana, who's surprised at how Alex is treating me, but Kirana simply smiles. Hey, you're being called over. Come on, Kirana, you're supposed to save me here. What the heck, girl? Damn. I approach Ayu and Alex. Uh, hello? Ah, uh, no need to be all stiff like that. Relax, relax. There's no way I can be relaxed in Alex's presence. All things considered, I'm still a little afraid of him. Mentari is still adapting, Lex. She's only been here for a week. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Mentari. I shake my head at Alex. <laughs> oh, my nose. Um, it's okay. Um, sorry. Why are you the one saying sorry? It's all right. You haven't done anything wrong. Well, uh. Okay, this is awkward. I don't even know what to talk about with Alex, who called me over. And then there's Ayu. After finding out that Alex once liked Ayu, or still... Uh, uh, what? I still don't get the relationship. Mentari. Uh, yes? Why did the BGM stop? You don't have to feel awkward with me, Alex and Donnie. Yeah? We already consider you a friend. Whoa, why? This is so, this is such a weird development. How did this happen? <laughs> Damn, Mentari, you got that. You got that quiet girl, Riz. Whoa. I <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> she got the butt she is. I know, right? Okay. Not just a friend from class or from school, but yeah, a friend. You get what I mean, right? Mintari, thank you for accepting Alex and Donnie. Accept? Who said anything about accepting there? I wanted to get far as, as far as away from them. Damn. She got adopted by extroverts. I know. <laughs> oh, no. Min Hi, girl Mentari here, suffering from success. I mean, uh, what time about it? Yes. <laughs> See, 
why did I tell you? Mentari is kind and, uh, and an understanding person. Yeah, just shy. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. Friend? Can I trust Ayu, Alex, and Donnie? Oh, in my old school, all of my friendships ended with... They all ended up... Alex might be infamous for being a troublemaker, but he's honest. So you don't need to be afraid that Alex is hiding something from you. Same with me. Just think of Alex and me as your friend, like Kirana. Well, I turn to Kirana, who gives me a thumbs up as she pretends to use her phone. Oh, we fine, girl. Let's go. <laughs> okay, good for you, Mentari. Huh. Hmm. I'm pretty sure Kirana is actually paying attention to our conversation. Seems like Ayu and Alex have no problem with that. Yeah, just like Ayu said, I don't hide anything except smoking in the hallway during the middle of school. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, I want to thank you for calling Ayu when I was fighting that bastard kid. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> so I didn't need to deal with the teachers. Ayu and Alex are really nice to me. Oh, oh yeah, sorry, that's me. Can I trust them? I'm afraid that I'll make some sort of mistake and then they will... <sighs> like my, like at my old school. They always screw things up. I'm not sure if I can maintain this friendship. I always end up doing the wrong thing and repeating it again. And they wouldn't accept me if they knew what really happened to me. They will avoid me. Definitely. We still haven't heard of Mentari's backstory here. Uh. I'm so... <sighs> Mentari! Kirana pats my shoulder from behind. I instantly look towards Kirana, smiling at me. Congratulations on that, Yale friends! Look back at Ayu and Alex, both smiled kindly at me. If Kirana believes in them, well, so do I. I, too, believe in them. Good for you, Mentari! Hey! Hey, I'm not happy that I'm friends with Alex. I'm happy that Ayu considers me as a friend. That's a win for big W for Mentari for acquiring Ayu. There you go. Good risk. Good risk. Um. <laughs> that is adorable, but cringe at the same time. <laughs> Thank you for being my friends, guys. <laughs> Good job. Good for you. Good for you. Head pats for Mandari. Thank you. Thank, thank you for being my friends. <laughs> Even they're surprised. Mentari. <laughs> what the heck, dude? You, you you can smile too. Ah, you should smile more often. You're so pretty when you smile like that. I blush and try to hide my face with my hair. Kirana chuckles at my reaction. Hey, not a bad start. Suddenly, my phone rings. A text message from Dad appears on the screen saying that he's waiting for me at the gate. Uncle Vicky is picking you up? Uncle Vicky? Who? Mentari's driver? Shh, Uncle Vicky's Mentari's dad. Oh, oh, sorry. I hold back my laughter behind my hand. Dude, I kinda, I just realized, I just remembered that we almost got into a car crash because of Alex here. Dude, if... If dad finds out who Alex is, <laughs> I swear to God. Well, if you're ready to be picked up, you should head home first. We're still waiting for our rides. But, um, well then, uh, I'm going home first. I walk out of class towards the gate. Dad is waiting for me there. I better hurry. We good. Actually better than call me son. Oh, hey, what's up? What is this? Is this tension? Is this tension rising? What's going on? Kirana. Uh, yeah? I want to ask something about Mintari. Oh no. Mahiki chased me. Uh, what is it, you? I overheard a conversation with Miss Lina when I walked past the teacher's room. Oh no. Is this really the time to talk about it? Mm, or maybe they're just concerned. Maybe they're just concerned. Did, uh, did Mentari in her old school? Hey, what's wrong with Mentari? Yeah, I heard she got bullied. 
Yeah. So that's why she's a bit strange transferring from a school in the same city. I thought she was moving up a grade. Huh. Yeah, uh, Mentari's bullied so bad until she... And then... And then she... Oh man, are you guys... Uh, I don't think you, should, you guys should be talking about this right now. Well, as the class president, I will do my best to help Mentari. Good for you, Ayu! Let's go, Ayu! W's for Ayu. Thanks, you. Well, it's my job. Well, me too. If anyone messes with her, let me know. Damn, W for Alex. So still a douchebag in my eyes. So, but still, thanks, man. Thank, thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Good support group. Sana all. I hope things like this actually happens in real life. Damn. Such supportive classmates. Oh my god. Thank you so much, guys. Relax, nah. We're friends. Mm hmm. Dad sits firmly beside me while dev devouring his homemade fried rice. Oh, for your homemade fried rice. Ah, oh, man, my voice acting is getting worse, guys. Like, my. Both my nostrils are blocked, man. I'm so sorry. Please bear with me for a bit more. Mm -hmm. My favorite cartoon plays on TV while we eat side by side of the. You play. You, you watch cartoons, but don't watch anime? What the heck, Mentari? You don't know what Himitsu means? What the? What the heck? Ah, oh, L for Mentari, bro. It's been a long time since Dad and I had dinner together, let alone with his cooking. He can't cook much food, but fried rice is his favorite dish because it's easier to cook. I eat a spoonful of rice. Even though it tastes so-so, something this fried rice always calms me down. Mm, that character is funny. I know that Dad doesn't really like this cartoon, but he seems to be trying to enjoy it. How come this character is like that? Um, well, that's what they usually do. Well, don't be like that, okay? How can you hurt someone like that? Yeah, no. As he chews, Dad softly pats my head a few times. Oh, All right. How's school going? Um, I don't know where to start. Obviously, there's no way I'm telling you about Alex and Donnie in the beginning. <laughs> Alex had a great, had great dad's car. Exactly, exactly. Dad wouldn't be happy if he found out that I'm friends with Alex. But sooner or later, I have to tell him. Um, how do I do this? Hmm? Well, it's going well, right? Yeah, Dad. Well, that's good then. That means my choice was... Choice, choice, what? Hello? Hi? Oh, dad's phone rings. Damn. Thought my game died of cringe there. Okay. I let out a long sigh. I know it's your office special ringtone. There must be something sudden and important that he has to do. Well, just a minute, Mentari. Hello? Yeah. Yep. Uh-huh. How the heck could that happen? Oh my god! Oh god damn it, Dutch! I'll be right there! Dad places his plate on the table and puts his phone into his pocket. He looks sad and kisses my forehead. I I'm sorry. I I'm sorry, sweetums. I have to go to the office. Now? Yeah. Dad hurries to his room and grabs his bag. Mm, poor Mentari. He doesn't even have a, cha a chance to change his clothes. What do you mean? He's still in his office uniform. <laughs> Not even a shower? I could do that at the office. This is very urgent. Dad messes up my hair roughly. I have to go, sweetheart. Quickly, Dad he heads to the garage and closes the door. Okay, cool. The sound of the car starting up and driving away and the sound of the fence being locked can be heard in the distance. I sit alone in the living room while holding a plate of fried rice. I glance at Dad's plate of fried rice. There's still half of it left. Dad's always busy. He was never this busy before. I don't know when Dad started working more and more, but he rarely comes home. I'm always alone. Alone. I scoop another spoonful of fried rice as I stare blankly at the TV. It tastes bland now. Dad didn't an add enough salt. For you. Ayah, no salt on fried rice. 
no MSG at all. I <sighs> tear fell down my cheek. Poor Mentari Chuan. I miss dad. If I remember anything about mom, maybe I would miss her too. But I never knew mom. Mom died giving birth to me. That's all I know. Oh, poor Mentari. Maybe it's about time dad, you know, introduces himself properly to Miss Lin there. Dad's always been with me since I was little. Dad's always been around. But since when? Since when did fat? Since but since when did Dad feel so far away? Now I'm all alone. I'm always alone. I have no one. Poor Bejari tried. No, I'm not crying. It's just it's my allergies. God damn. <laughs> Ready? consider you a friend. Not just a friend from class or from school, but yeah, a friend. You get what I mean, right? Suddenly, I use words echoed into my mind. Friends. Are you... Alex? Maybe Donnie. <laughs> Maybe Donnie. And... Kirana. Kirana's always been there for me. Kirana always helps me. Ayu said that I'm her friend, even though I often bother her in class. Alex and Donnie are troublemakers, but they are willing to chat with me. I... I'm not alone. I have friends. I'm not alone. Good for you, Mentari. After finishing Dad's fried rice, I take his plate and put it in the fridge. Be ashamed to throw it away so it can be eaten for breakfast. Tama. Afterward, I wash the dishes and go straight to my bedroom. Uh -huh. She has a cool ass bedroom. Damn, plantita pala Whoa. Yeah, she got Polaroids too. What the heck is this room? I, I do not get your personality, Mentari. <laughs> hmm, not what I would have expected from her, to be honest. So cool. Before going to bed, I will um, chat with Kirana. Fuck studying, bro. Seems like chatting with Kirana could be fun. I'll chat with her first. I hope she's available. Boom. Let's go. Chapter 3. Yeah, nakamaksha. She's a rich kid. Let's go. No wonder she can afford uh, taxi scooters every freaking day. And we're now in chapter three. Mentari! And that is where we're gonna end this for now, my dudes. Woo! Damn. I'm kind of happy for Mentari at the moment. I'm kind of happy. But guys, remember, we're still... We're ju we just finished chapter two of 15. Yes, that's right, guys. The sun shines over us as 15 freaking chapters with six different endings mm -hmm. did i do i need to remind you of what this game is all about oh my goodness if you guys think that this happy jolly freaking um, um warm feelings are gonna stay i'm pretty sh pretty sure it won't i'm pretty sure it won't so guys if you want to find out for yourself what's gonna happen in this game then check out the freaking game on steam it's available right now there's even a demo a free demo you can try out see for yourself there you freaking go or maybe you guys want me to continue this playthrough maybe you guys want me to make a full playthrough fully voice acted by yours truly here in glocal streams that's right first ever visual novel in glocal streams if ever just i don't know just let me know <laughs> know in the comments okay it seems interesting hmm <laughs> But yeah, I'm, I'm, there's still a lot of mysteries we haven't un, uh, uncovered here. Like, there's probably a mystery behind Aditya. Remember the, the student council president? Yeah, what happened to him? What happened to him during the cafeteria incident? Also, we have um, Deku, the, the guy, what was his name? Uh, Alvin. I can't, I can't believe I remember him. Alvin, the pale glasses dude. Yeah, what's up with him? Huh? Huh? And also, see, how can we forget? How can we forget about film is popular with the name Put, she putri, putri, how can we forget about her? Maybe you guys want to know about that. So again, it's either 
y'all will watch me play it or play it yourself it's available on steam get it right now there's a link in the description check it out thank you so much uh the sun shines over us for sponsoring this stream and this video and uh, that was fun man i really like i like ayu i like ayu i like mentari too i want to know what's gonna happen to them Whew. so yep that's it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time oh my god ano to? What is this? Why is there a head pat there? Oh no, spoilers. Oh yo, oh how did this happen? Damn, that's Aditya, bro. I think that's Ayu. Oh shoot. Oh shoot, guys. Oh my god. Oh, aren't you even more curious now? Oh no. Oh, what happened here? Oh shoot.